from Ugly Duckling. So speaking to just one of you today, where are the other two today? Well, one of the guys, he's actually across the street in the downtown Los Angeles immigration building because he married an English girl and uh, he's doing his final interview to make sure she can have legal residence in the country. So he's really nervous and the other guy who knows where he is. We try not to talk to each other too much. And why is that then? If you go on tour with each other, you're kind of compressed in a car, in a hotel room, in a backstage area for months. So as soon as you get out of that little world, you kind of flee to your... your Have a bit of space. Yeah, absolutely. So. Do you think that your music and your passion and love for what you do has kind of taken you to your romantic love? I imagine most people are likely to meet their special someone when they're operating in their best capacity. Till then, what we're about to do, wanna take it to a brand new altitude, cause this is the season for celebration. So there's three of you, and you've got quite authentic, different feel to quite a lot of the other hip hop rap that's out there. Do you have an underlining theme with your music that you like to write about? Is there sort of like a vibe you like to bring? Well, there's a lot of satire in what we do. We enjoy kind of poking fun at culture, particularly hip hop culture. But also, I think one thing that might differentiate Ugly Dutchman is we never made it all about us. I think a lot of hip hop can be autobiographical and first person accounts of, like you said, this is what I do every day. I hit the streets. I, this is what happens. This is how great I am. I make all the money. No, you don't. This is how many girls. I get all the girls. No, you don't. How many people I shoot. Whatever it could be. And I think we wanted to make the art form a little more narrative. We like to use our music to tell stories about any old thing. The name Ugly Duckling, where did that come from? When we met each other in the early 90s, it was very much the uh, mecca of gangster hip hop. The Snoop Dog, Nate Dog, the Dog Pound. It's very dog heavy. And we obviously didn't feel that we fit into that, so we just kind of had a name that typified that idea. We don't fit in with this whole scene. I know that you've been doing some touring in um, London, uh, England. That's obviously where you guys met your wives when you were overseas. Uh, what was the gig that you did in Brixton? That sounded pretty good. Yeah, we uh, got to perform at Brixton Academy. We also did Manchester Academy and Bristol Academy. With Jurassic 5, um, they put their group back together and kind of had a revival of maybe the late 90s, early 2000s hip hop scene of which we were a part. So that was a triumphant night, I suppose. Would you say that music keeps you on track? Sometimes you'll meet somebody who does a more standard kind of job and they might have a, a more healthy view of themselves or the world around them or their family. So I think sometimes the artist, you have to be cautious to not be so caught up in your own ego that uh, you lose perspective on what's important in life. So other than music, is there something else that you really enjoy? I used to when I was a kid growing up, the next door neighbor, he was called Mr. Wilson, and he was a retiree. Every morning he'd wake up, have some coffee, look at his garden, and I used to say to my dad, I want to be like Mr. Wilson. That's the, and my dad, he's an old man. Or you're young, you're vibrant, you can do things. Like, no, he's got it going on. I like that. To me, that is heaven on earth. To, I, my wife calls that the nothing box, where Andy's in his nothing box and he's doing his crossword puzzles and everything but a pipe. That, that sort of, that is my true ambition. It's that and working on music. Those are the two things I love. Good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you for uh, coming all the way up to downtown Los Angeles. And I wanted to say, this is City Hall of Los Angeles, the building where famously Superman would pose at the end of the great Superman television show because he stands for truth, justice, and the American way. Da, 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 